I have my little solar system set up. Little foldable solar panel. I'm not sure exactly how many watts it is. But it charges my mobiles quite well. Um, today is quite bright and sunny. I tried doing this yesterday and it was rainy. And basically I was getting about one tenth of an amp out of this. Today is much, much brighter. I'll tell you how many amps I can get out of this shortly with my little meter on the side there. Now what I was wanting to show you is the charge. So at the moment, I don't know if you can see that, there is a green light on coming from the solar panel. Um, I definitely know that this gives off at least an amp in the summer. Anyway, it's powering the desktop charger, but as soon as you put in the radio, it, all, all the lights go off. There's not enough power to charge. Oh, it's come back on. So there is just about enough power to charge off this foldable one. But like I say, yesterday it was just going dead straight away. So it needs to be strong sunlight for this to work. I'm just going to pop on my other solar panel. Hang on. First of all, actually, I'll just have a look. No, it's not showing up enough. Uh, it's not showing up any current on there. Not enough. And again, the... As soon as I get in the way of any... Okay, it's showing about half an amp while it's in the sunlight like this. Now I think half an amp is just enough to power the USB as a normal USB port is about half an amp. I'm just trying to cover yeah, still got half an amp there, but the power's gone off on the radio charger. Right, I'm just going to swap panels. So this panel is supposed to be about a 20 watt. And it's given off about the same, so I think my foldable one is about a 20 watt. It's given off about the same ampage. But as soon as I cover a part of it, the radio charge light goes off. So he's on there, I don't know if you can see that. If I cover up a couple of cells, he goes off. And this is good sunlight at the moment. In the winter. So what I suggest we do, because this desktop charger needs at least half an amp to charge, I think the best way in the day is to charge a USB battery pack like a proper little solar station so the solar panels will charge the batteries and when you need the, bat the power you pull it off of the batteries just means you need a battery and you need to carry around I would say a 10 amp battery pack which is no big deal, it will also charge your phones and that for you. But the solar panels can be charging up your battery pack whilst you're using the radio. At the end of the day, you can use your battery pack to charge your radio. So I now have a battery pack being charged, a moving battery pack, being charged by the solar panel it is still about half an amp but where the half an amp wasn't enough to run the desktop charger half an amp going into the battery pack all day long 
depending how br how bright the sunlight is for let's say five hours you'll get two and a half amps into the battery obviously warmer places more sunshine it's going to be a lot better or you could of course get a bigger solar panel but not so portable that one's showing depending if I shine it at the uh, sun about 0.7 of an amp so 700 milliamps I'm just going to try the foldable one again now I'm looking at it this foldable one is definitely much much better it's 1.2 amps so getting on for twice as good that's the make um, I've had this about 10 years now so I don't know if you can still get hold of them but it's a, a foldable That's pretty good, that's 1.2 amps, like I say it is uh, winter time, it's only about half past nine in the morning, the sun isn't very high, that's 1.2 amps going into the battery. At the end of the day I can recharge the radio, I will let you know, I'm going to run a radio flat and I will let you know how many amps it's used of my battery pack. To fully recharge a radio. As you know, the uh, sorry, as you know, these radios will last a good couple of days on standby on a battery. But I'll let you know from my 10 amp, at least that's what it's claimed to be, a 10 amp battery pack how many amps or how many parts of an amp it takes to recharge this battery so how many charges you could get out of a 10 amp battery just for a bit of a conclusion or a result um, the foldable solar panel on the left is giving out roughly twice as many amps at 5 volts than the flexible but rigid if you like panel on the right the one on the right will give 12 volts uh, not much of an ampage though at that I'm sure it was actually sold to me on wish as a 50 amp a 50 watt panel and when it came I could see that it wasn't what they meant was 50 watt at 12 volts but it, all the maths was wrong so the solar panel the folding one seems to be much better trying to charge the radio is basically not enough power there may be enough power on the foldable one now but I suggest charging up a battery and then when you're ready use the battery to charge your radio so like a, a proper solar system you're going to charge the USB battery pack up I would say that's the best way and then you use the battery to charge the radio and your phone So my 10 amp battery, it says it's used 60%, on this it says it's used 3.5 amps, so it's close to the 60%, and so it's used 3.5 amps to charge the radio, I have just turned it back on again and it's just doing a little top up charge again. but. Uh, basically it turned itself off at three and a half amps so roughly you'd get two radio charges out of one of these batteries 